Hi everyone. Um, my name is Ashley Templeton. I'm so sorry I'm a little bit late. I had some technological issues, um, but hopefully we're good to go for the rest of the webinar. Um, let me just go ahead and pull up my PowerPoint and then I'm, I'll just explain a few things and we will get started. Okay, um, there we go. Perfect. Um, so like I said, my name is Ashley Templeton. I am the graduate assistant for new student and family programs here at Fort Hayes State University. Um, I'm so excited to be in my position. I am a second year now, so I'll be graduating this May with my master's in higher education student affairs. Um, and I was with you all this last year doing uh, all these fantastic webinars as well. Um, I kind of just want to explain my role a little bit because I want to make sure that you all know how I can help you the best um, and what I can do for you. Um, so in my role, I do a lot of things, um, not just like family programs. Um, a family program is a huge part of what I do and I absolutely discovered my passion for working with families and parents and really like helping them experience what their student experience is. Um, when, I, when I jumped into this position, I really, really like gained that passion. Um, so I do a lot of family and parent things, which I will explain through um, this mini webinar here that we're doing. Um, but I also do a lot of things with your students. Um, so all of the pre-enrollment, the Tiger Stripes pre-enrollment days that your student went through, um, those are all orchestrated a lot by me. I'm in charge of all the orientation leaders um, that run those days for your students and are, are with your students throughout that transition period. Uh, so it's really, really fun to be able to kind of see your students blooming um, into the college students that they've become from high school. Um, and going through those processes. So I get to do that. I get to train, hire, implement all of our orientation leaders, um, as well as some student directors and team leaders that I work with um, pretty frequently. So that's one of the things that I do. Um, I also just, I have like a myriad of kind of responsibilities. Um, we have some access to success. It's a plan here that's, that all of our first year students have to go through and meet with their advisor six times a year, three times a semester. Um, and I'm that point person for if they like don't meet with their advisor and we just get to chat about how things are going and um, get them back on track to, to meet with their advisors. So I, I do get a, some student contact and it's, it's one of my favorite parts of the job. Um, so if you ever need anything, I am, I absolutely can either like help you or I can help you find the person to chat with. Um, and I can definitely help your student along the way as well. Um, so we can go ahead and get started now. I really, this mini webinar is just a lot about, I want to kind of explain some of the things that my office provides um, for parents and families and students. Um, to, to really join in the experience with their students. So um, first, the basics. So our Facebook page is one of the biggest things that we do host um, because we have a lot of different things posted there. So all of our webinars are posted there. Uh, we have a link to our newsletter sign up. So if you want to sign up for that, any events that your students can go through, go to that we like think that you might be able to encourage them to go to. We post there uh, as much as possible. Uh, and we really try and share things between that and our first year experience page, which is all about the first year experience and the first 40 days and all of those really fun things that your students go through uh, as they are transitioning in their first year of college and beyond. And uh, we post a lot of other things as well for students that will, will interest students um, beyond just the first year of college as well. Um, so that's really our Facebook page. The link is right there, or you can just get on Facebook and, and search for Hayes State University Family Engagement Programs. Um, and so we do have some cool cover photos, which I'll talk about a little bit later, and that is kind of the front of our page. Um, so feel free to like that page. Um, make sure that you're keeping up with, to date with what's going on. I will post every webinar. I'll post the link to every webinar afterwards on YouTube if you'd like to go back and watch it um, or share it with anyone. You can do that. Um, so these are some social media options. We do have some really cool ideas um, that we came up with and I was able to work with graphic design here in the Memorial Union um, to be able to go to be able to come up with these and provide them for parents and families. Um, so there's a lot of different um, cover photos and profile filters on there. So the cover photos and profile filters, the cover photos themselves are in their own album on Facebook. So you can kind of download them and make them your cover photo. Um, they're really fun. They've got proud to be a tiger parent. There's got like proud family member of a tiger, um, proud parent or family member of a graduating senior, um, all sorts of really fun things to share your tiger pride um, and really support your student a little bit there on social media. Um, and then we also have the, the profile filters, um, which can be a little bit more difficult to 
to access just because you have to go through your actual profile to get there. Um, so these are just two examples of them on the screen there. That first one is it's my mom and dad. Um, and so that's the one, one of the examples that I used um, right after I graduated from undergrad here. And then the bottom one is our, our team leader group from last year um, down there with the graduating senior one. And so all you have to do is go to your profile um, you'll click on your picture and like when you can choose when you like if you want to choose a new profile picture upload a new profile picture um, you can say try out a frame uh, and you just have to search like FHSU uh, or something to that effect and you'll be able to pull this up really easily um, it's just not quite as easy as click and save and upload um, but it's definitely easy enough to go through it and find once you get there um, so those are some really fun options. I hope that you're able to utilize those. Um, there's even, I think, a frame for just students. If you want to say, like, proud to be a tiger, you could put that on there or encourage your students to do the same. Um, so this one is one that we actually just hosted this last Saturday. Uh, was my second and final family day uh, as a tiger. It was really fun to host. Uh, and we added a lot more activities as it was like a later game day. So family day essentially is a really awesome time for you to come back and meet with your student again and get to spend time with them you know you sent them off to college and they've been here for quite a while now and they're in the swing of classes and now y'all get to come back and reunite uh, and just spend, spend a fun day together as a family um, so we have a lot of fun activities um, this is an every year occurrence around the same time so around the beginning of september we're always going to host family day um, and it, it kind of varies between like a 2 p.m football game or 7 p.m football game as far as our timeline but we're always usually going to start in the morning um, there are free t-shirts for a limited quantity that say like um, proud tiger family member on the back and fun stuff like that um, and then hey CBB thank, um, thank you to the Convention of Visitors Bureau they always give us some really awesome bags that have just all the amazing things about Hayes so you can kind of explore Hayes a little bit as well while you're here uh, and then we always host a myriad of fun things so that first top picture is the fishing derby um, that intramurals host um, and that that fishing derby he um ron he loves this event a lot um so he puts um fish actually in in big creek the like man-made part of big creek right there uh and you're able to go and fish and they collate them there for you and everything so it's a really fun time uh, we have a lot of families that really enjoy going to that um the picture below that was a new program this year with finish downtown uh it is a a, a business downtown that you can go and you can craft they do group parties you can have a birthday party there um, different things and so we hosted um, two different sessions for 20 people to be able to go in and create a Fort Hayes State University craft um, so it's super fun that was a really awesome event that went over well this year um, and then we just have tons of other things from the maker space is always open in the library so you can go check that out um, this year we did a community service project for um, the inauguration of Dr. Tisa Mason as president of Fort Hayes State University um, and so we were able to partner with um, the Center for Civic Leadership, who was who put on this event, and partnered with Alpha Yama Delta, so we're already here on campus um, for Dr. Tisa Mason. So that was really great as well. Um, we had a tailgate before the game, um, so that was fun. A lot of free food and fun for families to go to, and then attend the Tiger football game as kind of the end cap of the day and spending some time with your students. And um, I always want to give a huge shout out to Matt and Athletics and the entire athletics department. They provide vouchers for us where um, they can get their tickets family members can get their tickets at a discounted rate um, students always are free but um, those family members when they come for a family day can get them discounted so that's really awesome um, so make sure you like our facebook page we always post our family day information there as well as sign up for our newsletters which i'll talk about soon um, the information is always in our newsletters uh, the family calendar is something that we do every year as well um, this was just a, a photo of one that i had hanging out in my office um, and so we publish this every spring and it, inside of the calendar there's any date that you would need to know in reference to your student or their academics. Um, so it's a really great thing where you can like highlight the access to success deadline um, and remind your student that they're coming or put it on the fridge or you know something so that when they come home they see it. Um, and then you know when fall break is, spring break, um, all sorts of fun things, homecoming, um, everything you might need to know in there. Um, so we do publish those every spring and we have them on hand and then they get handed out at Tiger Stripes pre-enrollment days as well. Um, next, the thing that I, I really love this, this thing, I was able to actually talk, um, go through it and create it. Um, and it took a lot of thought because I've been here for, this is my sixth year at Fort Hayes State University. 
um, through undergraduate and now graduate. And so it took a lot of thought into like thinking about what, like I know, I know all of these terms, but parents and families and students even might not understand quite all these terms. So thinking through some of those things that we say and use that might not be understood. And so Tiger Lingo is all about terminology and abbreviations that we use here at Fort Hayes State University. So when someone says ACE, you're like, okay, what is ACE? Um, ACE is the Academic Advising and Career Exploration Center, um, somewhere that can be really important for your students. So um, wanting to make sure that you are understanding and knowing all those terms, uh, I made this document specifically with family members and parents in mind so that they could kind of understand what some of those things are. Um, and then of course the terminology, Tiger Track, Tiger Tracks, Tiger Mill, Tiger Link, Dining Dollars, um, just all sorts of things to explain that. So I do have this in print. Um, which we hand out at events throughout the year. Uh, we handed some out at family day, we handed some out at pre-enrollment days, um, and then we also have a PDF on our Facebook page. So I recently went ahead and uploaded that as a photo album. So there's four different photos, one for each page, um, that you can kind of take a look and browse. So um, take a look at that. It's, it's, I think it's a really great addition to our office uh, and something really useful. So. Uh, and then the next thing is something that I do every month as well. Um, so we do a monthly, it's called the Laws and Cause e-newsletter. Um, so this e-newsletter includes anything and everything that might be relevant throughout the university system. Um, we, I send out an email to faculty and staff and student affairs every month that says like, hey, if you have anything awesome coming up that you think would be beneficial to parents, families, and students, please let us know and I'll include it in the newsletter. Um, so very, very frequently it includes things about career services, um, about any events that can go on. I always put in important dates to remember. Um, so that's pulled directly from our schedule online so that you know like when final day for 50% refund is coming up or homecoming or any of those things and it's easy to glance at. Um, we did hear some feedback from parents and families that they want it really simple in an email, don't have to really open much. So that's what it is. You just open your email, read through it, um, and of course there's always an unsubscribe link as well. So when your student graduates, if you're done hearing them, you can definitely unsubscribe. Um, but they're super, super beneficial for when you have a student here and you really want to kind of stay updated in their lives um, and what they, can, what they can do throughout the university. Um, so feel free to sign up for that. You can do that at the link on the page. Um, and that link is always, also always on our Facebook page. Um, or feel free to email me at the end if you catch my email instead and want to sign up, I can do that as well. So um, it's a really great, great opportunity to get some more information. So if you'd like, feel free to do that. Uh, and then monthly webinars, of course, what we're doing right now. So this one is just kind of a mini webinar because um, I do want to, make sure that I'm getting all this information to you. I know that it's kind of hard sometimes you just jump into things and you don't exactly know what our office offers or what we can do for you as a parent or family member. Um, and so it's a really great opportunity for me to kind of share that with all of you. So that's why we just did a little mini one to get y'all acquainted. And then we're gonna kind of jump into some of our awesome topics. Um, so we do, I do monthly webinars and this last year with my, my first year of course in doing all of those, um, we end up usually doing them in September, October, November, and then February, March, and April, um, kind of missing those months where not a lot of students are on campus or um, it's kind of a shorter month because we have a break or something. So um, those are the months that we generally do them, and we do a lot of topics that really just could interest you as a parent or, a, or interest your students in any way, and you can help your student along in that progress. Um, so a few of them that we did last year, this bottom one here is about career readiness um, and Karen McCullough in career services actually helped me do a three-part series. So we did one for freshmen, one for sophomores and juniors, and one for seniors. Um, and so that was really beneficial, I think, in helping you kind of where your student is at, um, figuring out how then to boost them into, into being career ready. Um, and then the middle one there is called Home for the Holidays. Dr. Kenton Olive helped me with this one, um, and he presented this one, and it was all about like, your student has been here for quite a while, they're on their own, and now they're gonna come home for this extended break a little bit over winter break and then over summer break even. Um, and how, do, how can you make that transition smooth and maybe um, work through the fact that like they're coming home and they're gonna be um, back from their kind of freedom at college and, and all that fun stuff um, that comes along with um, your student coming home. So that was a really great one. Uh, and then that last picture there is our one on inclusion and diversity. So this one was really close to my heart and I 
um, thought a lot about it and really wanted to do this. So Taylor Kelly and Diego Esparza helped me um, bring this one to you all. And it's really a lot about how your student is going, can go through a lot of changes. Um, they're really developing as they come through college. And so you never know like their thought processes, how they are going to change or stay the same and how that might, might differ from yours. And so being able to kind of manage that transition and help understand what your student is going through and how you can aid in that. Um, so that was a really great one as well. Um, we're doing a lot of really fun ones this semester. I've already started kind of planning all of the year's webinars. So make sure that you're staying updated on our newsletter and our Facebook page. Um, Cause like I said, I'll always post our webinars there. Um, so that is our, our kind of webinar series. I hope that you're able to join us. It's, it's usually pretty great. Um, so that's really all I have for you for our office and the services that, that my position at least is able to provide you as parent and family members. Of course, um, you can always contact us for anything and we will help you out as much as we can. Um, but if you have any questions, please feel free to email me, call me. Um, if you're student, feel free to stop by my office and share it in. I have a, I have a Keurig. They can have some coffee. It'll be great. We'll just have, we'll hang out for a little bit. Um, I, I always love to see students and see family members. So I would love for anyone to stop by. Um, if you have any questions now, you can always um, ask those as well um, or ask them later. So thank you all for joining me so much. Um, I'm so excited to that you all were able to join me and to share this with you because um, I think that we have a lot of services that can be offered that maybe um, people don't know about. So uh, thank you all for joining me. Have a great day and I will have a great evening. It's evening. Uh, and then I will um, make sure to share this and make sure to update you all on our next uh, webinar. It'll be in October.